next guest is a very funny and pint-sized actress, comedian, and the current reigning queen of memes. She makes her book debut with a collection of personal essays called She Memes Well. It's on bookshelves now. Please say hello to Quinta Brunson. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. What an honor well, you to know, get to talk to you. Well, you know, the first time we met, you interviewed me. I think we were up in, like, Silicon Va Valley somewhere. So I was like, well, I'm doing a show. I want to I wanna interview Quinta. Thanks, Wanda. Always paying it forward in every way, shape, <laughs> and form. Thank you. Yes. That's, Thank that's you. Like, so good. Yeah, I didn't even... I didn't know if you remembered me from that. Absolutely. I thought you might have thought I was, like, a whole different person, and then later you, like liked a separate me from a different comedy, like from stand-up or something? <laughs> I didn't know, so that's cool to know. No, I liked you back then. Uh -huh. I was like, I was like, she's going places. She did. She yeah, said did that, that to me, and I took that to heart. And then I went places. You did. You did. <laughs> well, I really like your book. I was reading some of it today. I really like it. Good, great job. Great Thank job. Um, it's, uh, explain to them the, the, the title, She Means Well, okay. how all that took off. Yeah. So she means well is a, a play on words, if you will, because the first time that I was seen in the world, I was a meme, um, a meme, a he got money meme. I'm not sure <laughs> how much of the, uh, what? yeah, all right. <laughs> See, I was about to generalize. I was like, I'm not sure how much of the white audience is, but then my, my girl right there, she saw it, so yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, it was a play on kind of like, being a meme, going through the viral journey, um, going through the internet journey, and then kind of transforming into a more traditional actress and writer and creator. Um, and then, you know, she means well, which it's a play on. It's just because I, I do my very best. I do my very best. And sometimes it, it might suck, but I still did my best. Did and best. I think that's true for so many people. And uh, I wanted that to kind of represent a generation. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and what did your what did your parents think when they saw like your face all over the internet? Because I, yeah, I know like my parents, they're like, "What's this mean stuff?" What you know? See, your parents are <laughs> doing better than mine. My parents <laughs> were like, my, they didn't know. I think the whole meme phase has is not even a thing to them. My mom mm -hmm. googled me recently. She doesn't know what a meme is. Okay. She said, "Quinta, I saw a picture of you on the Google." <laughs> <laughs> and it was your face, and it was some writing on it. And the writing said, people be gay. What does that mean, Quinta? <laughs> and I was like, Mom, it's a meme. And she said, now, what's a meme? And I was like, I can't even... And that, that's it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and she, I love that. Yeah. She, she couldn't comprehend. She was like, you look nice. At least you're wearing lipstick and earrings. <laughs> but why would you... Well, who said people be gay? And I'm like, I did, clearly, but she just could not. The whole concept of it to her is foreign. So, it's, you yeah. know, but uh, they, they still yeah. support me now. Yeah, and that, and that one was huge. So, so it was all over the place, especially just coming through Pride Month. Yes. So, yeah. My people favorite be time gay. is Pride Month yeah. because it's nice. It gets to be a meme that is shared by members of the LGBTQIA community. And... Um, it's nice to be a part of it in that yeah. way, yeah. So. Well, from the community, I want to say thank you because it is also very important and it, it's helpful yeah. when uh, a, a, another, you know, African-American yeah. speaks out in support of the gay community. So we thank you for that because, <laughs> really, it's it, so mean, it really, it means a lot. It means a lot. What's funny about that meme is it was born from my tire, my tired... I'm like, we shouldn't even have to speak out anymore. Like, I'm just like, people be gay. Like, why is this a thing? <laughs> like, they, they've been for forever. But um, I'm so happy to be here in that way to, um, you know, be a part of that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And you, let me tell you, you, um, I missed you last season on the Black Lady Sketch Show, yes. but it's still a great show. And yes. you... You killed it on that. And uh, so did your parents, of course, did, did they watch that? No, see, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> My parents are not uh, allowed... I don't want to show that to them. So okay. If, I said HBO doesn't work anymore. They canceled H, the whole... <laughs> 
HBO Plat is crazy. They went out of business. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that that's not for their uh, Christian viewing either. Okay. So I feel just, you on that. We pretend that, that yeah. don't exist. What do they watch? Then? <laughs> what do they watch? What do they watch? But mom watches. She watches westerns. That's her thing. She still watches like Bonanza. <laughs> And the Young Riders. I don't know if you know these shows, but uh -huh. she still watches like the Western Channel, which is a thing. My and brother watches that. Yeah, well, it's his whole channel. Yeah. And then my dad, he watches Bones. <laughs> Just Bones. They, 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 they don't make any more of those, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, you right? should tell him that. Uh, he, he's just... <laughs> He watches it on uh, Netflix, you know? Part okay. of the reason he got Netflix was because he heard Bones was on there. <laughs> and so, um, and when he does veer out of that, it's like movies about submarines, specifically. <laughs> Red October. Uh-huh. Uh, other movies about submarines. I don't know them that well, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So, you know, coming out, coming out to play for me on a different thing is a special event, so I, I appreciate it. Well, we gotta get you on a Western uh, with David Boreanaz <laughs> in a submarine. Let's make it happen, Hollywood. <laughs> HBO? No, they don't exist. Oh, they don't exist. <laughs> I forgot. They don't exist. <laughs> uh, but you have a, a show coming out. Congratulations on that. Thank you. That you, you have so a much. show um, on, coming out on ABC. Yeah. Abbott Elementary, right? Abbott Elementary. And it takes place in Philadelphia. <laughs> Abbott Elementary takes place in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and it is loosely based on my mom's experience as a public school teacher in Philadelphia. And uh, she just had countless stories over her 40 years uh, serving the Philadelphia School District that I knew. Yes, teachers, yes. I love that. Make, make sure you, the, uh, woo is not a view, so make sure you watch the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, for real, it's like, it's a fun show. It's a straight up, comedy, which is what I'm excited about, too. Yeah. You know, we're dealing with people, everyday people, and their work situations that they love, which may not be the best situations to us, but people do the job of teacher because they want to do it, because mm -hmm. they can do it, because they're good at it. Right. Um, and then that's what it's about. Well, I'm so proud of it's you. It's really and this cool. Is and good. I have to say, while I have you here, thank you to you, because without you, there would be no me. All I did when I was little was watch you. Stand up, wow. your, your show, your comedy show, and uh, yeah. All right, yeah. well, now I gotta kick you off the show. <laughs> right, no. But thank you so much for being here. I, I'm like, not mad respect for you, and Same. like you say, you're going places. Her book, She Means Well, is out now, and Abbott Elementary is coming soon to ABC.